Mary Moran is retiring as the superintendent of Rutland Schools after 10 plus years. We reminisce with teachers and students in Rutland about Mary and everything she has done for the community. When I met Mary before I worked in Rutland and Mary worked in Rutland. I was a college football coach and I went into the high school, Franklin High School, that she was the principal at. I did not know that at the time. And uh, I was there to meet with the football coach to talk about prospective student athletes when I was working at Norwich. And, uh, I went to the main office to sign in, uh, Mary Moran came wheeling around the corner and kind of cornered me there and uh, we introduced ourselves at that particular point in time and never thought anything of it and then however many years later, she I did not know she was a candidate for or the can be the new assistant superintendent of schools and I was getting introduced to her and we looked at one another and said, you know, I know you and she said, I know you and had a little bit of a laugh about it. So that's. That's kind of how, you know, how I met her, you know, and, I, and again, I've worked with her since she's been here. I think she's been here around 22, 23 years. Um, I think she's always been, as I said, a motivator and, and wanted me and, and other teachers here to do their best, to, to really put kids first. I think that's one thing that Mary has always done is to really make the, the whole child evolve while they were here in our district. and. Um, that has, has really motivated everyone to see that, that we're here. Our mission here at our, in, our, in Rutland City is to um, dedicate ourselves to, to our students' learning, and Mary certainly has set forth that example. Mary Moran has been a part of the Rutland School District for 22 years. She has been a leader, an inspiration, motivator, and friend to every faculty, staff, and student. She has put education and safety first for everyone. I think one of Mary's greatest successes is that uh, our kids go to, go to school in a school system that's, that's safe, that's uh, progressive, that's you know on the cutting edge. And again, I can speak to that as the athletic and activities director and certainly as I, I also coach football, but I can speak to that as a parent who had, you know, my wife and I, we have two children that went through the city school system and, and went to college and are out there as young adults working in the, in the working world and you know we always ask them do you think that you were prepared or how well do you think you were prepared for life after Rutland High and they both said unequivocally that they felt that they had a very strong foundation which allowed to have them to have success and I think those are the sorts of things that uh, you know aren't necessarily talked about a lot it's just the kids that are out there getting it done and having success is, you know, young young people out there. And we're starting to see a lot of those people coming back to Rutland now to be a part of a kind of like the revitalization of, of, of the Rutland City area. You know, like when you're a leader of a big organization like this uh, over so many different years, I think the average, if I have this correct, I think the average turnover rate for superintendents nationally is four years. And she's been in doing this job for, um, is that, am I right, on 19 years, I think, some, somewhere around there. So to, to be here that long, you have to make sure that uh, everything's going well, everything is running smoothly. Uh, you're going to have, in, inevitably, you're going to have uh, problems arise here and there. And she's been really good about taking care of those issues and making sure that, uh, first of all, the kids' needs are served and that, and that we do the best that we can do as, um, as staff in the building. So I think that you could say just generally the, the idea that the the school district has been successful is, is a great success story for her. But there's a lot of other things that she does. Uh, a lot of it is uh, really behind the scenes. She, she is probably one of the most generous person, persons I've ever met and she will never let you know that. She keeps it, keeps it low but uh, she helps students financially. She, she, she'll, she'll get mad if I tell all these stories but um, you know she will if we have a field trip that we want to go on. She she has supported that. Uh, she has supported us, our kids seeing, for instance, uh, I think our kids saw Macbeth a couple of years ago in, in, in the Paramount and she, that was because of her. Uh, she's very generous with her own time and her own guidance. She will help anybody who asks for her help. She, she, she's helped a lot of professionals uh, grow in their in their roles. I think if I have this correctly, correct, I think she has there's been 19 people that have come from the district as teachers that have gone on to um, leadership positions in schools around the state. And so much of that is because of uh, her guidance and her, 
her expectation that we can become better. So she, she's helped people grow and move on and become leaders all around the state. Students have really connected with Mary. She has made a lasting impression on them, giving them skills and preparing them for the future. I think the first thing I ever learned from Miss Moran was how to properly shake a hand when I was in like fourth grade because I my dad introduced me to her and it was I was kind of shy and I looked down and like kind of gave a flimsy handshake and she kind of was like when you're giving someone a handshake you got to look them in the eye and you got to give them a firm handshake and so ever like that was the first lesson I learned but ever since then like going through the college process and picking where I was going she really helped me out like taught me like what to look for and things that are important and what your decision is and just all around she's I mean but yeah over the years there's been a lot of lessons that she's taught. Everyone who has worked or been around Mary finds her to be an inspiration and truly appreciates the work she has done. I, I think one of the greatest things that, that Mary did and it certainly has come here at the end of her career here in Rutland City was was her belief in that that we open our doors to all people and when we had the, the interest in the Syrian refugees coming to Rutland City she was one of the biggest proponents of that and held the torch high and asked um, everyone to to believe that that was the best thing for our district that we accept all people she initiated um, or offered a course through Castleton State University for teachers to take so that they could really be um, on the up and up on what it would be like to have refugees in our district. So she went beyond the pale in, in definitely um, wanting us to be accepting of everyone and that came from her and, and I have always thought that was incredible. Next week, we are taking another look at Mary's time as superintendent and hear from her what she loves about the Rutland School District.